Thank you for logging in. During this podcast, I'll be showing you how to construct a perpendicular bisector of the line AB. Before we proceed, there's certain things that we need resources. Ruler, protractor, pair of compasses, and a sharp pencil. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll just draw a line AB. This is the line A, B. What I'm going to be doing is to draw a perpendicular bisector. Just to remind you, that is what the word perpendicular means, i.e. at 90 degrees to this line here. So uh, that's perpendicular. All of these points are perpendicular. However, perpendicular bisector means to be able to split this line into half. So I'm going to divide this line at about this point here. So, with my pair of compasses and pencil, first thing I must do is secure my pencil, make sure that it's tight, put the needle at point B, making sure that the compass is more than halfway. Draw an arc at the top and draw an arc at the bottom. Now, do exactly the same, putting the needle at point A, but a point to remember, you must not change that position at all. With the needle at point A, I draw an arc here and I draw an arc here. And the last thing I do is I simply join those two points up together. And what I've done there is I've taken the line A, B and I've drawn a perpendicular bisector. In other words, this angle here is 90 degrees. And what we'll do now is we'll actually check if that's 90 degrees and as you can see that is 90 degrees now this is rather a simple case and we can complicate things and as I turn over I will draw a random line that is not actually on the grid On my line, I'll mark this as point A, this will be point B, and remember, securing my pencil, <coughs> yep, that's nice and tight, that point B, draw an arc above the line, draw an arc below the line, do not change that position, go to point A and then repeat that process. And as you can recall, just like we did last time, is I will join these two points together. And there we have again our 90 degree angle. And let's just check. Using the protractor to measure angle And you can see that we clearly have a 90 degree angle.